welcome and welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is Nadisha um so I have a message for you guys and not everybody will be able to relate to this but I know that some people will this will resonate with because you also are going through this or you will go through this all right so let me tell you so <laughs> someone came to me right someone came to me and they're like um you know I got I just got this urge to look you up I was like okay <laughs> and so you know as they were telling me some stuff um so I decided to google myself right and you know I do that uh every so often just just to know what's out there okay about me so um when I looked myself up I saw that my social media um platform came up and I was like ah I see and I knew that God was using this individual to give me a message right and what the message is is hey when you're being googled uh your social media platform is coming up and and people are finding your channel okay um so about over a year ago um God told me and he told me to tell the people to come out of hiding okay and um you know and I started this platform and basically i like i only told like a handful of people right so anyways um i guess i guess to god i was still in hiding right even though my platform is open to the world right anyways so what was happening just like with this individual uh they got the urge okay when people don't know or people don't understand what what to call it they'll call it an urge so as this person got an urge to look me up you best believe so many people at the same time you best believe at the same time also got the urge okay and i know that this 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 is not just for me but this is for many people if you have a platform this message is for you especially for you if, even if you don't have a platform this message is also for you okay um you 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 carry the holy spirit within you right you carry god within you okay god lives within you all right so because god lives within you you need to understand that your light is shining so bright and even though you don't see your light other people see your light okay other people feel things when you are around they 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 feel you and they see you okay i posted a video about how you're being highlighted to people and it's true so what 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 has been happening is as people are going about their day and people are being more curious about who you are um they're gonna look you up and as they look you up if you have a social media platform they will see that okay and that is exactly i'm telling you these people don't realize that they're being lured lured l-u-r-e-d <laughs> into um exactly the place where god wants them to be okay all good things so as they find your platform they're gonna start watching you you know and even though like to you you might find it creepy and you might find it almost starkerish you know because a lot of people they're going to watch you and they're not going to tell you that they're watching you but the reality is you already know okay people have a really interesting way of giving themselves away plus you know things you know things you know things all right and plus god reveals things to us that's what people don't understand like god reveals so much to us you don't you just don't understand so anyways so there's people who were just sitting at home you know just maybe being at work um whatever wherever walking their dogs whatever and all of a sudden you came on their minds you came on their minds okay this could be ex-lovers ex-boyfriends ex-husbands ex-wives ex-girlfriends i'm telling you this could be distant family members this could be family members this could be ex-friends everybody i it it happened all at once everybody from every department every department every walk of life okay got this urge <laughs> to look you up and they're finding your platform and that's exactly what god wants right even people who have known you for many many years 
they've not they've never gotten the urge to do that before and all of a sudden they now have the urge i go to prepare a table in the presence of your enemies okay is everybody looking looking at you and watching you your enemies no i don't believe that um are some of them your enemies absolutely <laughs> absolutely okay frenemies whatever people with secret animosity whatever you're calling it okay almost like god is creating a live you know when you do a live i've never done a live before but other people do live and you know you know how people shout out the people who are in the live okay okay mimi from alaska come on in come on in okay creepy guy from down the street come on in that's almost like what god is doing okay neighbor to the front come on in neighbor to the left and the right come on in okay everybody from the job come on in you best believe people if you work in the public they're watching you the people at your job is watching you the people at your church is watching you the people in your neighborhood is watching you i'm telling you the people in your your neighbors are watching you you go to get coffee you're having an encounter with people you're you're just you're staying in people's minds and that's why you're if you're, you're staying you're you're having these encounters with people and you're staying lodged in their minds and when you leave they're thinking about you so they're curious they look you up they find your platform they stay they watch you anywhere you frequent i've said this before coffee shops gyms 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 <laughs> work gym anywhere you frequent i don't know what you're into anywhere you frequent you best believe you're having an encounter with people people are curious about you you're standing out to many people and they're watching you okay yes it comes across as stalkerish yes it comes across as invasive yes because a lot of people are not saying anything but that's exactly what God wants. God wants an audience. Okay. God is, he's having these lives and he's calling these people in. Come on in, come on in, come on in such and such. Come on in ex-boyfriend from 1992. Come on in ex-girlfriend from, come on in. Okay. People from your high school is just going to be thinking about you and be like, oh, I wonder what they're up to. And they, they'll find you. Come on in. God is creating an audience. He's taking people from your past, present, present people right now, people from your past, everybody. He's calling everybody in. Do you notice how, <coughs> excuse me, do you notice how every time or most time, majority of the time when God does a miracle, there's always a large crowd? There's always a large crowd. He's like, I'm not wasting my miracle, okay? I need I need you to get this on camera, okay? Can you imagine if if when Jesus walked the face of the earth, if there was social media, if there was cameras, if there you don't think that man would have gone live? He would have gone live with his miracles. <laughs> he would have made sure that everybody saw them, okay? So people from Jerusalem could have just stayed at their homes and watch it, okay? They didn't have to like, uh, you know, they didn't have to be around him all the time, you know? He could, the multitude of people would have been probably less because they could have just stayed home and watched the whole thing. So if God had social media when he walked the face of the earth, I believe that he would, util he would have utilized social media, okay? I'm telling you, God is utilizing social media because... He wants himself, really, to go viral, okay? God's chosen people, God have used you, and you are the one who is carrying his glory. And just like Elijah, I've said this numerous, numerous, numerous times before, you will have your Elijah moment, okay? You will have your Elijah moment. And what the Elijah moment is, is where Elijah needed to prove that his God was the true and living God, okay? And, and what the, 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 the requirements was is that his God would send fire from heaven, okay? So the prophets of Baal, their God needed to send fire from heaven. And Elijah's God needed to send fire from heaven. 
and they said that basically the God who sent fire from heaven would be would would be declared the true and living God okay and the prophets from Baal they over here they 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 begging um they're begging for their God to send the fire <laughs> They're shouting, they're screaming, they're pleading, you know, um, they call upon him morning and noon. It says, Baal, answer us. They shouted, but there was no response. And Elijah with his crazy self, he's taunting them. He's like, he's like, shout louder, shout, shout louder. Maybe he's asleep. You know, maybe he needs to be awakened. He even said, maybe he's on vacation. He says, maybe your God is on vacation. Oh, maybe he's traveling or maybe he's busy, okay? Elijah is taunting, taunting the, the prophets of Baal to say, shout harder, um, scream louder. So isn't he the true and living God? He should hear you. He know Elijah knew that his God was a real deal. And Elijah, many of you guys are modern day Elijah, okay? You... You're calling upon God and say, so Elijah, it says, answer me, O Lord, answer me. So these people will know, will know that you, O Lord, are God and that you are turning their hearts back again. That's why God has to do a miracle in your life. It's to turn people's hearts back to God. Your miracle is to turn people's hearts back to God. God has chosen some people, not everybody. He has these chosen vessels that he has placed throughout the earth, okay? Throughout the earth, his chosen people. And he is using you guys. He's using you guys to prove to the world that one, he still exists, he still lives, and he is a true and living God, okay? He still exists, he still lives, and he is the true and living God. And your life will reflect that, okay? So that's why God is creating an audience. The, the, uh, Elijah was surrounded by many, many people, okay? Because they needed to witness. They're, God always have witnesses when he, does a, when he does a thing, okay? So you need to understand that as people started finding your platform, they started finding your channel, they get to witness. They get to witness some things. They're going to, they're going to witness God do a miracle, your haters, your enemies, your friends, your family, everybody will witness God do a miracle because a lot of people are the walking dead. They're walking in the physical, but they're dead spiritually. And God is trying to awaken some people. He's trying to revive the dry bones. He's trying to revive some dead walking people, okay? So he can turn their hearts back to him. And God is using you to do that. Okay. So I don't know what happened, but everybody has found you. <laughs> and God needed for me personally to know, to know this, you know, so, because let me tell you, you know, this channel talks a lot about God and not many people, um, not many people, you know, some people might call themselves atheists or they don't believe in God or whatever. So I naturally will trigger people because I'm talking about God. So God wanted me to be aware of this, to know, to know that when people come into my presence and they act a certain way, is that they may be triggered. Okay, so at least I have some awareness of what's going on. But you best believe people from everywhere, anywhere you frequent, they are watching you. Okay, and I'm telling you, it's not the greatest feeling, to be honest, to feel like you're being watched. And it come across as very stalkerish. But like I said, it's really God's way of like showing the world who he is through you. All right. And another thing he showed me, <laughs> he is, um, he is so ready to convert some people, man. Even the people who are like, who say they don't believe in God. Some people are just going to be either buying physical Bibles, okay? Or they're going to be downloading Bible app because they need to follow along with you. Because when, when I'm talking about stories of like people in the Bible, like I just mentioned, Elijah, they might not know who Elijah is. So they're going to be Googling some stuff. And it's this curiosity that's going to convert people, okay? 
and i just love how this is so being done very supernaturally and god is just on the move and he's doing his thing and um yeah but yeah so i go to prepare a table in the presence of people i'm gonna just say that and yeah so you need to understand that they're all watching but that is exactly what god wants them god wants to for them to witness a miracle that will take place okay god wants people to witness a miracle that will take place through you okay you haven't seen nothing yet you have not seen anything yet god is up to some big things 